So in this video, I want to introduce you to two different simulations that you're going to be using in lab today. And that's for my Physical Sciences 153 lab students for the Sun Earth Moon lab. So the first one on part one of the lab is going to open up like this. And it shows the sun, the moon, and the earth not to scale. It also gives you a little person here on the earth. And where that person is, it's going to show what their view of the sky would look like up here. To actually play the simulation, automatically moving forward in time, you'd hit the yellow button, the play button. But you can also move forward or backward one hour or forward or backward one day by clicking these individual buttons. You always know what time it is for the observer by the little clock up here, which will update as it's playing or if you click forward and backwards, as well as it's using the new moon as the start for counting the days and hours for the moon's position. Now, in addition to using the play buttons or the forward and backward button, you can also grab and rotate, but you have to be careful about which direction is forward and back if you just manually grab it. But if you're trying to reset things to a particular position, you can use that for both the earth and the moon as you move them around. So you guys are going to actually follow the instructions in the lab manual to do various activities, observe what you see here in the simulation, and record your answers into the lab report. And this one is for part one. Now from the same group, we have a separate one, which is very similar here. Again, the sun, the moon, and the earth, and your time controls. But now it also shows us the phase of the moon, which is visible to someone on Earth. Now, it's not just for this person, because some of the time the person might be sort of on the other side of the Earth where they can't see the moon at that particular time. But for someone somewhere on Earth, what phase of the moon would they see? So again, as you move through time, play, You'll record your observations about what's happening here. And then you can use this to help you answer the questions in the lab. Now in the lab, there's a similar diagram, but it has labeled numbered positions. As long as you've got your moon in approximately the same positions, you should get accurate information about the phase of the moon. If at any point in part one or part two, you have any questions about how to use these two very closely related simulations, of course, reach out to me to get a little bit more guidance so that you can finish your lab. I hope you have fun exploring the Sun-Earth-Moon system.